hang around downtown by myself, and I have had so much time to sit and think about myself. And there she was, like double cherry pie. There she was. Like disco superfly, I smell sexy. I need to answer and um, fortunately Andre couldn't make it or be here for the q and it was supposed to be recorded last night but you already know let me go get a fork I need to eat so <clears throat> whatever man it is what it is uh, we still had a good time yesterday you know saw some buddies saw Ricky and um, yeah it was, <laughs> it was nice seeing the boys and stuff but like fucking Andre man like this guy can never just like do one thing at a time but it is what it is i'm gonna answer a few of the questions here um because i just I'm not, I'm not sure what he's doing today i'm pretty sure he's working so um, i'm gonna answer some of the questions here um for breakfast as you guys saw so these are like sausages so i had three sausages three eggs and then i made a bowl of oatmeal so in total, it's like 500 plus cal 500 plus calorie, if not higher. I would honestly say it would probably be even like around the 700 ish calories, just because I know how much calories is in the oatmeal um, and in the eggs. But I'm not sure how many calories is in the sausage. So I would say 600 to 700 calories, um, and then I have the the water with the creatine from HP Lab, uh, which in case you guys don't know you can use my code shabby star um for a discount but anyway um we're gonna answer a few of the q and a um I, but now that the format will be different okay so one of the first question uh was eric what was your eric what what does it, what the heck this guy can't type bro eric what biggest what was the biggest you've been Hashtag weight. Why did you put a hashtag? Okay. So the biggest I've ever been in terms of my weight. <clears throat> and because honestly my weight fluctuates a lot was 163 pounds. And that was only like a week and a half ago. But though like two months ago I was like 160. But my weight fluctuates a lot just because my metabolism is freaking fast. So, sometimes I wake up out of bed like 158, normally. Um, <clears throat> this was for Yag. <laughs> Yag, reveal all your shorties. <laughs> oh, that would have been an interesting question, but hey man. We were literally talking about it last, yesterday night. And um, bro, shorties, like, especially in Winnipeg, like bro, you look you have to keep shorty low key and it's like it's just because like people talk in the city and like they will literally try to like just sabotage or ruin your relationship. And wilding. Like buddy's been wilding, but like obviously he's trying to figure it out and then like obviously he's probably gonna, you know, go back to ghost mode. Um somebody asked like who's leaner. Um, between me and him, um, honestly, honestly, we'd have to obviously like test who's leaner. But obviously, I think he's leaner. Do you get more? <laughs> do you have more? 
Just a few left. Honestly, like Z's. I don't know if you guys know Z's, but we don't live for we're for girls. You know what I mean? We do this. It's for the boys. You know what I mean? Always for the boys. But I will say, um, obviously, girls are more attractive to a guy who, you know, works on himself. Um, and, you know, take care of his body. I'll tell you that. <clears throat> um, next question. Okay. Um, didn't want to get into this one, but I think it's... I'll address it here, but Mark, are you Mark still friend? Is Mark still friend with you guys? Um, <clears throat> you know, love the guy, um, but you know when you're on prep, even like every everybody you know makes mistakes and you know has ups and down. But you know I had a really good time to uh, on this prep with Mark. Sorry, I thought somebody was at the door here. Um, but I was saying, obviously, like, each prep is different. Not No prep is going to be perfect. Um, but yeah, we're still French. And, and and between, like, the boys, like, obviously, like, the first prep was kind of like the... It was, it was a long prep, I'll say that. It was a very long prep uh, with COVID. And, and honestly, like, I'm just, I'm proud of, you know, Mark and obviously Andre. Like, they, you know, pushed through all the ups and downs, like the mask, the double vaccine, but again, having to switch gym and, and you know, Anji was there throughout the whole prep last year from literally for a year almost because the prep, the show kept being pushed, um, like pushed down once when all tail opened and it was like last summer, I think, yeah, last summer. And I'm like, I'm not gonna lie, like, come on, like, we, we like we literally walk in the gym and everybody was like turning their heads. so. Everybody kind of like saw what we were doing and like I'm not saying we were running the show there But like come on like there was nobody else doing what we were doing and of course like when You know we started all lifting together people were like what, what the heck like they're like why are they doing their own thing? And you know we, like as friends you kind of need some your own space and kind of just figure out like we have a life too And you know we're busy and stuff and then obviously like ever since that day like obviously some stuff's changed um, in terms of just our priorities in our life, but you know moving forward to the next prep um, With mark like the whole with going to a different gym and I, I really enjoyed it and you know I wish him the best for the, the for the show um, I hope he gets first call out this year if it is um, If he gets first call out, that'll be huge. Um, I'm not saying like he'll win but you know the physique he brought this year was definitely the best the best physique like compared to last year like last year we thought like he was peeled but this year he got the wideness uh, uh, should I live with my girlfriend or am I losing gains nah bruv <clears throat> can't be lifting with like once in a while like it's, it's okay to lift with obviously a girl but like those guys in the gym that I see them working out with their girlfriend, oh my god, like, well, like, bro, you're losing gains, bro, like, um, can you actually explain what donkey means? <laughs> so, basically, <clears throat> when COVID hit, um, obviously I had a lot more time, um, and, you know, I was kind of educating myself on kind of just the society as a whole, and, the definition donkey means you can search it up on on in the dictionary it's almost related to like being a bimbo so basically it's just like it can be guys too but mostly it's just girls right and most of these girls that post naked and again you're you are more than welcome to post half naked right <laughs> but you as a guy need to understand that if that's who you end up cuffing right Oof. this girl likes male validation yeah because girls aren't posting that because they're empowering their body. Because if that was the case, go post it on Tumblr. Go post it on Pinterest. They won't do that. They post it there because they want the likes from the guys. They want the comments. And if a girl's ever open for male validation, it's so easy for another guy to come in. Facts. Right? So if, if, if the girl already has that tendency of wanting male validation, and one of those guys just seeps in that just is the right guy, now you look like a dumbass.
words. Yeah. What I mean, like, it's just it's just terminology that we use like between the boys and stuff, and I think it's funny. Um. <clears throat> Uh, how did you st okay, so we're coming to the last couple questions here. So how did you start editing? Can you show how? Uh, yeah um, Started editing obviously during COVID um, Had a lot of a bit more time But yeah, it is very This is why like I appreciate you guys like liking and commenting and you know engaging with the content I put out because like it takes a lot of time and when you know you don't see those those results, it's like it's like damn, like I did all that to get twenty views, you know what I mean? So and that's why I appreciate like the people who are sub to the channel, who have been sub to the channel since day one. And so I appreciate you guys watching the, the content and um we'll keep it going. But yeah, I've started um the, the editing part or the video was during COVID, I had time, I looked into it and like it's it, it's insane the amount of things you can do. Um when it comes to video and editing like pictures so the videos i, I record on davinci resolve um or i should i should i should say edit i re edit on davinci resolve i don't use adobe premiere pro because you have to pay for that program davinci is entirely free but the downside about davinci is it's so complicated if you are starting because there's just so many settings and things you can do that like it's very overwhelming um you you literally would have to sit down with someone like me or somebody on would watch a lot of youtube and go step by step in terms of how to edit like the basic thing like how to cut a video and you know might put a transition that's pretty easy because you can basically just download um um video transition like they, they come in package stuff you can download them for free or buy them and that's pretty easy the sound effects like that's pretty easy but like in terms of like having the, the look that you want like in terms of when i'm color grading like it's a whole different ball game hope you guys enjoy enjoy the long weekend and um i'll see you guys in the next video peace
Memphis, man.